Hello, I'm Giovanni. And I'm Giles, and we're here to talk about Super Thursday, but not the UK election, but the other important event, which is the ECB meeting, where Christine Lagarde will have her first run out in front of the press. What are we thinking? So, given the recent dynamics in terms of growth and inflation, I don't think that there is an immediate uh, need for action from, uh, from Lagarde. So, the focus will definitely be on the strategic review that we know will start in earnest uh, next, uh, next year. And we had already quite a few comments from ECB officials over the past few uh, days. And so the first point that they will definitely look at is price stability, the target of the ECB. They want to make it more symmetric and they also uh, want to change a little bit the, the timing. This kind of in the medium term is not defined enough for uh, market expectation. The second element is about um, financial stability. There are unintended consequences of policy. They want to avoid those. They've already started, but uh, probably there will be more tools added to the toolbox on that. And the third element is about climate change. Uh, we think that uh, Lagarde will uh, definitely have a pervasive uh, you know, analysis of that because it has an impact on potential output and it also affects collateral uh, of the ECB. So all that I think will be done, will be positive for growth and for, um, and for banks and for the banking system. But of course there are other market implications. Yes, so what does it mean for markets? Well, Draghi's first meetings were marked by fireworks, but there were very different circumstances, of course. We think that if Christine Lagarde is careful with the way that she communicates, we probably won't learn anything that really means anything for markets. Um, but of course, the, uh, the content of the strategic review is very much in focus. Anything that changes the market's expectations for the way that the ECB does things in the future could have impact for rates um, looking ahead to the second half of next year and into 2021. Particularly, we have a lot of questions about the Swedes who seem to be trying to get away from negative rates. So we'll be watching very carefully. Thank you. Thank you.